Hi guys and welcome to 123 My IT. In this video, we will show you how to mine Bitcoin on your laptop. Okay guys, so recently I did a review on the Lenovo Legion 5 laptop. I'll put a link in the description below. And I wanted to see if I could mine Bitcoin with the graphics card on the laptop. The app that I am going to use is called NiceHash. We won't be mining Bitcoin directly, but we will be using our hashing power to get paid in Bitcoin. To get the NiceHash app, head over to www.nicehash.com and create an account if you don't have one already. Once you've created an account, click on login and log into your account. Up the top of the page, click on the mining tab and then click on the download miner button. On the next page, you will have two options. The first miner is for Nvidia graphics only and the second button is for both Nvidia and AMD graphics. This Legion 5 has a 1660 Ti GPU, so I will click the first button, NiceHash Quick Miner. Before installing the NiceHash Miner, you need to disable the antivirus as the antivirus will pick up the NiceHash installer as a virus. Guys, the next steps you will need to do at your own risk. Therefore, head over to the NiceHash Terms page and have a read. It's important if you're new to crypto that you understand the risks involved. This video is for information only. Cool, once you have read the NiceHash Terms, go to Start, Settings, and in security, find virus and protection settings. And then turn off real-time protection. This is so you can download and install the nice hash miner. Just use the toggle switch to turn off real-time protection and then go back to the nice hash downloads page. Put a tick in the I understand I have to make an antivirus exception on my rig checkbox and then click on the go to github download button. Once that loads, click on the exe or the zip file. If you do the zip file, you will need to make a folder exception. Also, if you have another antivirus software like I do here with McAfee antivirus, I have to click on accept the risk. Okay, if you download the zip file, you need to make a folder exception. So go back into the security settings and scroll down to exclusions and click on add and remove exclusions. Click add an exclusion and navigate to the folder you see on the screen now. Replace your win user with the username of your Windows computer and you also need to type in the app data folder as it's hidden on most computers and won't come up automatically. Okay, so you would normally have the NiceHash folder here. I don't have it because I'm not using the zip file to install. Cool, you've made your exclusions. Let's go ahead and install the NiceHash app. Run the miner exe file and click on download and install. Click OK and the miner will start. You can open the miner screen up too and check if it has started or not. Make sure you add in your Bitcoin wallet address. If you go down to the bottom right hand side, right click on NiceHash and go to Settings and Edit Config File. Go back into your NiceHash webpage and find your Bitcoin wallet address. It's under Wallets tab, Deposit, Show BTC address. Copy that and replace it in the config file. Make sure you go file and then save as well so it saves the address in there. Awesome, you can start mining now. Go back to the nice hash icon, right click it and then click on start to start mining. You can check your dashboard to see if it's mining okay. How much will a 1660 Ti earn per day, I hear you ask? This depends on a lot of factors, but the hashing power currently sits at around about 26 mega hashes. 
On my nice hash app, it says that you will earn about $2.50 US per day. Remember that if the price of Bitcoin drops, this will be much less, and also you will have to take into account electricity cost. Also guys, don't forget to check out my other videos such as Lenovo Legion 5 review. And do me a favor, if you know anyone who might like this video, please share it with them, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon.